what's going on? Your girl Ty here, which stands for Together Individual Entertainment. Okay, so a reminder, you can follow me on YouTube, which is Ty Blog. Ty Blog is the same name for my podcast, which you can listen to me on Anchor.fm and Spotify. Follow me on Facebook, Together Individual Entertainment. So like and subscribe to my YouTube and everything. I'm trying to, I have a lot of stuff going on. As you can tell, it's three days until Christmas. First of all, uh, I want to apologize for not doing a reading along yesterday. I had a lot of things to do and because since we're like a few days until Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, uh, I had like a lot to do. I had cookies to do, wrapping. I still have a lot of wrapping to do. And then there's the moment where I have to, uh, the wrapping was just part of my nephew's gift or whatever. And I still still have to you know, shop for my parents and everything. I don't know when I'm going to get them, but believe me, it's uh, it's very complicated. But don't worry, I am not going to let this get to me yet. So, um, yeah, it, it, it's definitely complicated. But no matter, um, it, it's definitely saying a lot. But for now, uh, I'm going to get into our read-along. And so, one... The story that I'm going to do was I Saw Santa in Pittsburgh. So we're going to read that today. And I will talk about what I'm planning on doing for the rest of uh, my YouTube page. Okay, here we go. Santa's not went to his vacation this year, Mrs. Claus said. How about Pittsburgh, my dear? You always say it is your favorite place. But remember, the children should not see your face. The reason he should not see his face is because everybody recognizes him. It's true, Santa says. Pittsburgh has it all. Great sights, taste bites, fun times, great and small. Mrs. Claus says we should set off tonight. And you heard what I said. You must keep out of sight. That is not going to be easy for Mr. Claus. They load up the sleigh, getting set to explore, and head off to Pittsburgh, ready for more through Chateau, Squirrel Hill, and North Oakland, and they go, I love being back, Santa says. It's um, a family tradition when they go away to buy a few gifts, remember their stay. Smart Mrs. Claus came prepared with the list, so first she'll go shop. Not one friend will be missed. Santa thinks buying nice gifts is quite tough. He's feeling confused. There's just so much stuff to do. His basket fills up with goodies galore, such as pierogies, kibasi, fried zucchini, and more. That's what we're famous for here in Pittsburgh. We basically are famous for our pierogies because when it comes to a pirate game, we always have a pierogi race. Reindeers are not eager to stick to plans there's so much to see and experience firsthand but first he must find a good new disguise so we can blend in with the crowd outside the clauses are done with their shopping for friends now it's time to go sightseeing before their trip ends back in the north pole head out and check the mail he opens one letter and turns very pale it says dear santa i want to be an astronaut when i grow up i would be a I would love a silver space suit for Christmas. Please love Noah. H5 from Fairywood. P.S. I went to a lot of museums during my vacation. I'm pretty sure it was the Carnegie Science Center where I saw you playing in the rocket. Am I right? The Carnegie Science Center is where I volunteer at, by the way. So this was a coincidence that I actually read that and is in this book and stuff. So that's a coincidence. And yes, we do have a rocket ship, but it ain't real. It's just there on display, but you can like mess around with the controls and everything. But unfortunately, nothing is going to reopen until January 4th. So that's going to be a while before anything happens. And unfortunately, the mummy exhibit won't be extended for another few months. They've already decided the mummy exhibit will end on January 6th. So get down to the Carnegie Science Center as fast as you can once it reopens. Uh, for the mummy exhibit because you only you only would have two days to see that mummy exhibit so the Carnegie Science Center is on the north shore of the Pittsburgh area uh, I would suggest that you see it as much as you can or you know just look at the trailer because wherever it's headed next that's where it's gonna be as for the other exhibit I don't know what the other exhibit is I'm sorry <laughs> okay so 
At home in the North Pole, Head Al says, This won't do. One sighting is terrible. Now we've had two. So there's another letter from a kid. So let's read that. And it says, Dear Santa, My favorite place in the whole wide world is the ocean. Please, can I have a snorkel and flippers for Christmas? Thank you. By the way, I was at Idlewell and Soak Zone yesterday. I didn't have my glasses on while... I was swimming, but I saw someone with a big white beard and red in him white bathing suit. Was it you? Please write back and tell me. Love, Emma. H H7 from St. Clair. Idlewell is one of the other parks that I talked about this past summer for uh, that was opening up and stuff. I also talked about amusement safety and the tips. So uh, you might want to look at those when we enter summer and amusement parks are reopening and stuff. But Leave me out of well and Soak Zone is just one of the theme parks that uh, we have here in Pittsburgh area. Santa really should be uh, taking more care. It seems yet more children have spotted him there. Dear Santa, I would love, love a big pink unicorn. I drew one for you here. Love, Bella. Age five and a half, or should I say uh, five, three and a quarter, sorry, on Shady side. P.S. Did I see you in Shinley Park? Wearing you know, green hiking boots and red and white striped backpack, I even sounded like you were whistling Pennsylvania. Am I right? So, Shinley Park is just one of the hiking and big parks that we have here in the Allegheny County of Pennsylvania. Um, I've never been to it, but I do remember them talking about it. Like, it's got lots of trails, lots of parks. It's got, like, everywhere that you might, you know, enjoy nice little outdoors. Reading the mail, Head Elton shakes his head. This letter has caused him to turn slightly red. Uh-oh. Hey, Santa, what was that you at City Hall? I was there in my, with my best friend, Ben. I know you live at the North Pole, but it really looked just like you sitting on the bench, wearing sunglasses and drinking a milkshake. Oh, we and we would like new baseball bats for Christmas, please. Bye. William H. Seven from... Regent Square. I have no idea where Town Hall is in uh, Pittsburgh. I've been in Pittsburgh several times, but there's like so many buildings, you can never tell which one's City Hall. In the North Pole, Head Elm can't believe what he's seen. Another two children have seen Santa fleeing. Hey, hello, Santa. My name is Olivia, and I am six and a half. I love horseback riding, would like new boots for Christmas. I went to Crawford County Fair. Didn't you go to? I'm pretty sure I saw you riding a horse while eating a hot dog. Was that really you? Love, Olivia from Lemire. So, Crawford County Fair is just one of the county fairs that we have. We also have Westmoreland County Fair, uh, Butler Fairgrounds. We have, like, so many fairgrounds that you would not believe uh, but they, uh, but the fairgrounds sometimes do uh, have the grounds for light shows or mu uh, fairs, small little fairs or, you know, something like that. But it's really unique how many we have. All right. Hello, Santa. I am eight, and I would like a real duck for Christmas. My grandpa and I were watching the ducks at North Shore Riverfront Park when we saw a big red sled on the other side of the pond. I heard the park ranger say, Slaves do not float. Was that you, James from Glen Hazel? So there are many types of rivers. Uh, our city is known for uh, three rivers. That's why we always hold a Three Rivers Arts Festival. Uh, because there are two rivers and they kind of connect into one. Or you might think of it as like one river splitting into two. But there are three rivers to where Pittsburgh is. And it's really easy because it's like a white shape. All right. The vacation is over. The shopping is done. See you soon, Pittsburgh. Thanks for the fun. Upon arriving home, Head Elf lets Santa know he's been spotted by multiple children. Oh, no! That's not good. So here are all the children. And basically, looks like what they're asking for is going to be a big thing. And Santa even wrote them back. See, Santa sent all these letters back to them, letting them know. 
<laughs> saying, yes, they all spotted me, says Santa. Mrs. Claus and Santa knows just what to do. They'll clean up this mess with a special gift or two. When Christmas arrives, all the children who wrote get one extra gift, and inside is a note. Like, for instance, we see this, uh... Noah, age five, says, Dear Noah, yes, you did spot me at the museum. I was on my summer vacation in Pittsburgh. Enjoy your silver spacesuit. Love, Santa. And then this one from Olivia. Uh, to From Santa to Olivia, you know. And it says, Dear Olivia, yes, I was riding a horse at Crawford County Fair. Pittsburgh is, any, is my favorite place to visit. Enjoy your new boots. Love, Santa. And with the pink unicorn for Bella, it says, Yes, Bella, you did spot me at Shinley Park. I was on my summer vacation in Pittsburgh. Have fun with your pink unicorn. And all the rest explain the same thing, that he was on his summer vacation. And as you can tell, he's wearing I Love Pittsburgh shirt. And in the letter, it's right here, it says, To my favorite shop in Pittsburgh. On my summer break, I like getting away, so I go to Pittsburgh, the best place to stay. There's so much in Pittsburgh that I like to see. There really is no place that I'd rather be. So be on the lookout because you never know if I might be somewhere that you like to go. And if you have time, I like nothing better than hearing from you. So write me a letter. Merry Christmas. Love, Santa. So that was um our Christmas you know, story for three days until Christmas thing. But, you know what? Santa is right. He says we need to be on lookout, and I say we do need to be on lookout. Because, who knows? Maybe we'll see him in the summertime. Maybe we'll see him in the fall. I could have sworn that I saw Santa a month ago during Thanksgiving week. So, says right. We better be on lookout. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and this is Ty saying... Happy holidays, and watch out for my multiple videos that I'm going to be posting on Christmas Eve, because um, there's like a lot of books that I got now from the library, the ones that I've been waiting for, and they are right here on my desk, uh, such as Grinch, Polar Express, Nutcracker, Olaf's uh, Night Before Christmas, and so forth and so forth, so be ready to see me with multiple videos, okay? So I cannot wait, alright? And I'll be pre-recording them, and that way I can post them, alright? Bye.